Sage, are you going to let us know when we're about to? I think we're good. Okay, so I should hit broadcast and then go? Hi there. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, my name is Emily, and I'm an organizer with Working Washington on the Pay Up campaign. I'm Muna. I'm also an organizer of Working Washington on the Pay Up campaign. And we are here today with Postmates workers from across the country who are standing together for better pay. Um, so today you're going to hear from some Postmates workers who have been leaders on this campaign about what's going on with pay on Postmates um, and why thousands of workers are coming together today in a blitz up. Uh, so to start us off, Darren from Miami is going to give us a little bit of background on Postmates and on what's going on with the pay cuts. So go for it, Darren. All right. Can everybody hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. On mute? Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody, on this first live stream that I'm on. All of us here on the call to action today work for Postmates, the food delivery app. And we're here speaking out because of dramatic pay cuts that happened last month. In mid-May, Postmates cut pay overnight with no warning at all. It was like a Cinderella story and at the stroke of midnight, everything changed. Unlike Cinderella though, the authors of our story have no plan for a happy ending. They cut per mile rates, they cut per minute rates, and they got rid of the minimum guarantee per job. This isn't the first time Postmates has cut workers' pay, but it's an incredibly huge cut for some of us, up to 30%. A cut that comes in a period out of this June is the longest period of economic expansion in the history of the country. In this thriving economy, food delivery services have seen strong growth and are expected to continue on this trend. In a recent report by Allied Market Research, food delivery is forecast to become a $16.6 .6 billion industry in 2023. In September 2018, Postmates CEO Bastian Lehman appeared on CNBC and confirmed that Postmates is profitable in 90% of the markets they operate in. What? Why is my pay being cut? Postmates is now paying in many cases significantly below the minimum wage and they're trying to frame it as a good thing, saying their new pay system somehow removes the need for a minimum guarantee and helps us know exactly what we're earning. Workers definitely still need a pay that's guaranteed. And we're demanding from Postmates. We are calling for a new policy that would give us $6 per delivery plus the cost of mileage. We're making it happen with a blitz up, a day of action that thousands of Postmates workers like you and I across the country have signed up to take part in. All of us will be rejecting jobs unless they have blitz bonuses attached. So the app will have to go into blitz mode to get orders filled. What that means is that we'll make our demand a reality by turning the app against itself so we can literally get paid more for the day. Just a few more facts, because I like facts. Back in May 2018, Bastian appeared on CNBC to inform the panel that in 2017, the fleet earned $200 million at an average of $18.23 per hour for each fleet worker, and made it the point to show to point out that this was 153% over the minimum wage. Fast forward a year to May 2019 in a San Francisco Chronicles article, Postmates state that in 2018, the average pay was 18 per hour and that it, it is expected to increase to $19 per hour in 2019. This article published three days after the pay cut hit my region in Slope, Florida. Well, Bastian, it's time to put your money where your mouth is and pay us a fair rate, $6 per trip plus mileage, no less. Stay tuned and you'll hear from some of the workers who have stepped up as leaders in the blitz, blitz up about what's really going on with pay on Postmates, how we're fighting back and how you can support the cause. Leave a comment down below to let us know if you're a Postmates worker who's blitzing up today. Postmates customer who just wants to show solidarity to the workers or a supporter who came to hear us out. Thank you for being here and for standing with workers. When we come together, that's when we can make change. Thank you so much, Darren. Thank you for stepping up. Um, next up is Maria and she's joining us from Virginia to talk about uh, what Postmates pay cuts have meant to her. Hello, can everyone hear me? 
Okay, great. Uh, I'm joining the Blitz Up today because these pay cuts have affected me in my hometown of California. The mileage, the pickup, and drop-off rates, drop off rates have uh, suddenly reduced. Often my payout is of delivery is around four to five dollars, where it used to be seven to eight dollars. Uh, Postmate offered guarantees during the week and promised to give us a certain amount of money if we did a certain amount of orders, but they're almost impossible to achieve. Uh, if I was trying to get on payment, if I was trying to get on get by on Postmates with the current pay structure, I would have to work about a hundred hours a week. In many cases, it basically cost me money to do an order. The cost of gas is going up, and meanwhile, Postmates is deciding that they're going to cut our pay. We didn't even get a heads up that they were going to make these cuts in the first place. Postmates sent us a very vague email about making improvements to the app, and it turned out that the improvements they were talking about were lowering the rates they pay and removing the minimum guarantee for jobs. Whatever these gig companies uh, think about, whenever these gig companies think about doing an IPO, the first thing they do is send out an email saying that they're going to be more transparent and make changes. And the next thing we know, they're slashing the rates they actually pay out. I've seen it across the board from other Postmates workers. It's not even worth it to turn on our car to do a delivery. I started doing gig work because I thought it would be a good transition to getting a full-time job. But basically, every company I've signed up with has cut pay since I started. And they all saturate our markets with workers so they don't have to pay us what we're worth. We are being exploited. They start off by paying us fairly and then go back on their promises. The one thing that gives me hope is that workers across apps have been able to band together and support one another to get fairer pay and more transparency and that legislators and the public are paying attention. I'm so glad that I connected with gig workers involved in the pay up campaign across the country. Whatever progress we make on just improve our pay or our quality of life is going to help every gig worker across the board. Thank you, Maria, that's absolutely true. And next up, we're going to hear from Chris, who is a postman's worker in Everett, Washington. Go for it, Chris. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, good. All right, so my name is Chris and I'm from Everett, Washington, and I'm joining the Blitz Up because of the 30% pay cuts recently, just that changed overnight. Um, I've been working in the gig economy on and off for about five years now. Um, and I value the flexibility and being able to choose of when and how I work. Um, I love what I do. I mean, it, it, it's fun. It's, it's, it's not like traditional employment. You know, you can be your own boss. Um, I've been working in the gig economy, um, or I already said that, um, but when um, companies uh, pay the way that, that Postmates do, do, the flexibility goes out the window. If you have to work 70 hours a week to, to make ends meet, you don't get true flexibility. Um, instead, you're in the position where at push of a button, Postmates just can completely change the, their pay structure. Um, when I when I broke down the math on what I got paid with Postmates last week, um, after accounting for the cost of mileage, I was taking home four dollars and fifteen cents an hour. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, for the for that time spent act actively on on delivery, okay, that's about a quarter of a minimum wage here in Seattle. Postmates relies on people not doing the math and realizing how little they're really paying. When I saw the numbers, I was shocked. I don't understand how they're getting away with it, how they can defend themselves. Normally, if you do a good job, you get a raise, but instead we get our pay cut lower and lower. Even as the cost of living rises, it's terrible. Postmates keeps telling us they care about workers' voices, but we've been speaking out about what we really need, about what we really need, um, and they haven't listened. If, if they'd been listening to us, they wouldn't drop our rates overnight with no warning. That's exactly what we're all coming together today to fight back. Gig workers are so separated from each other, and that's how they have it planned. Um, standing together I, I, and uniting is the only way we can get power. 
working in the gig economy has its ups and downs. I went through a time period where even though I was putting in as much time as I could um, doing gig work, I became homeless. Now, because of the way Postmates has cut my pay, I'm on the verge of becoming homeless again. I can't live in a in a four dollar and fifteen cent an hour. And nobody nobody could or nobody could. Nobody should have to live in fear of becoming homeless while working seventy hours a week at their job. Putting that much time, I should have the ability to to take a vacation. I should have some money to fall uh to fall back on. I don't. That's why we need everybody to stand by us and support us. Postmates doesn't seem like they hear us, but make them listen with your support. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Uh, Darren agrees with you that your dog agrees with you as well. Postmates is <laughs> um, we do you. Now, uh, we're going to hear from Ulysses, I can't, I can't your name, I'm sorry, a Postmates worker in Silverdale, Washington, about what needs to change on Postmates and why we're coming together today. Hey guys, uh, can you guys hear me? Am I good to go? Yes? Okay, hey guys, I'm joining the Blitz up today because I think our time is worth more than what Postmates is paying. The cost of gas, insurance, and our time, when you add all of these up, we're basically working for pennies on the dollar. A lot of time, the places that we have to go are 10 to 15 miles away. Um, and when you add the miles up and what you're putting on your car, when you talk about like, you know, oil and, and you know, the mileage on the car, it, it just, it adds up. And then you start to, to look and you're like, oh my God, I'm not even making minimum wage. You know, these pay cuts have really affected our ability to just pay the bills. I'm a combat veteran and I have a sense of honor, courage, and commitment that the Marine Corps has instilled in me. And when I see workers suffering because of Postmates greed, I have a burning desire to stand up for those workers, including myself. Like the great Dr. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere affects justice everywhere. Postmates is a $2 billion company. That's a billion with a B. And they can't pay us a living wage? What, what, why? I don't understand that. Nobody can give me an answer to, to why a $2 billion company can't pay us living wage. I'm not expecting to get rich on this company, but I am expecting to live. You know, I'm lucky that I have the VA to lean on. But when I talk to other of my Postmate workers and they tell me they're not going to the doctor, they're not going to school because they can't afford the tuition, you know, they, it, and they can't even take the time off to go to school or go to the doctor because they can't, they got to pay their bills. But ultimately we're all in this, we're all in this together. We're in the same boat. To all my fellow Americans and our fellow workers, we need to stand together. Whether you're a Postmates worker, an Uber driver or a barista, when workers unite and come together, it helps everybody. A job is a job. But if you're not paid enough to live, it's not a dignified job. We're not doing real work and we're human beings. We're doing real work and we're human beings. And it shouldn't matter whether we're gig workers or we're classified as contractors. An hour of work, an hour of work. We need to be paid for our time. All the things we have accomplished in the last 40 years, I mean, in the last decade of, of 40 hour work week, the minimum wage, child labor laws, all that came from workers demanding and standing together for things to change. And that's ex exactly what we're doing today. Postmates is trying to violate these labor standards and we're fighting for our rights and respect. And one last thing I wanna say is that we can do this. I can do this. We can do this. But most importantly, you can do this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ulysses. Um, last up, we are going to hear from Daniel, who's gonna let us know how the Blitz Up Today works and how you can take part. Go for it, Daniel. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, awesome. So as Ulysses was saying, we're all in this together, but today 
the point of all of this is to send a message, a message to Postmates that we will not stand for this. Less than $3 per delivery or $4 because, you know, they said they took the minimum away, but it's really actually $3 the minimum. So we're being lied to, we're being manipulated, and the whole point of all of this is to send a message. So we're demanding that we get $6 per delivery plus the cost of mileage and 100% of tips. This is what we're fighting for. We're not fighting for, you know, 100 bucks an hour, but, you know, we're asking for fair pay for fair work. If you do more than an hour of work, you deserve at least, you know, minimum wage in, in your area, wherever your minimum wage is in your, in your area. So here's how the Blitz Up works. The Blitz Up is designed to make the app work against itself. And this is ingenious because um, we're not protesting at an actual place. We're not pro protesting at, you know, Postmates headquarters or anywhere. We're using the app against itself, which is pretty ingenious if you really think about it. So here's how it works. Blitz is a, a bonus incentive that gets sent out to drivers. So when you have, when we're doing the blitz up, make sure that you turn off auto accept and turn on blitz notifications in the app. This is very important because if you don't have blitz notifications on, you will not see those blitz notifications anywhere. And um, even though back then we haven't seen any, I went back and made sure and made sure it's on because if it's not, you will not be able to participate as much in this, in this campaign. Stay offline till you see the Blitz notification. This is crucial because Blitz is only sent out when, uh, when you're not online. This is a demand to get drivers out on the road. So, so when you get that Blitz notification, make sure to go online right away. So once you go online, reject any jobs that don't have Blitz no bonuses on them. All right? So they have to have at least 1.5 attached. If you see a job that does not have the Blitz bonus attached, do not take it. If it's above 1.5, take it, do it. That's the best thing you can do here in this campaign. We're not, we're not, we're not refusing to work. We're working, but we're only taking jobs that pay higher. So that's the best thing you can do right here. So what can you do if you're not a post needs worker, or even if you are? Make sure to call Postmates customer service and let them know that you don't stand for what they're doing. Let them know that you stand with us as drivers and that we stand together. Let those Postmates rep know what your, what, what, what your thoughts are on this. This is very important. We need to get everyone's support out here. If you can, use Twitter, use Facebook, use um, Instagram, whatever. Make sure to use that. All right? So you can also follow the link in the description uh, to get those, de those details on how you can get started. Um, thank you for standing with us. Uh, we have thousands, or hundreds of thousands of gig workers across the country that are, they're pretty mad, we're rising up, we're fighting back with a pay up campaign. The issues we are dealing with aren't unique to Postmates. This is very important because we're not just talking about Postmates when we're, when we're protesting, the whole point of this is to send a message so that no other company can do the same thing. Because right now, if you haven't noticed, cutting pay is very, very popular. So please help us out. Stand together. We can do this. If we do this, we'll, we'll be changing how the entire gig economy works. All right. But anyways, that's all I got to say. You know, hope you guys can... Uh, feel empowered enough to actually make a change because this is what we're doing right here so let's make a change awesome thank you so much daniel so like daniel was saying if you want to get involved if you're a postmates worker participate in our blitz up today refuse jobs that do not have a blitz bonus of at least 1.5 attached if you want to support postmates workers call that customer service line let them know that you stand with workers in their demand for a minimum guarantee of six dollars per delivery plus mileage, be polite to them, they're workers too, but let them know they can pass that message along to their managers. Um, and comment down below and let us know if you are a Postmates worker, if you're another kind of gig worker, 
if you're a customer or if you just want to support and stand with Postmates workers today in their blitz up. Thank you all so much for being here. And Goodbye. Share, 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 share as much as you can.